one that's completely free and can cut the chance of your cancer coming back by almost 50%. That's really significant. Okay, we're not even talking about staying positive here. We're simply talking about managing chronic stress, meaning the anxiety and the depression that can be debilitating and feel normal. Managing stress is an easy thing to talk about, but takes much more effort to actually do. So is it worth the effort when there's so much else on your mind right now? Let's take a look at the data. So Keytruda, pembrolizumab, it's the most widely used immunotherapy. That decreases cancer recurrence by about 35%. So you get treatment, you get Keytruda as part of it, your chances of cancer coming back decrease by 35%. In contrast, in well-controlled studies, therapy to address stress factors reduced cancer recurrence by 48%. These numbers show that effectively managing stress in your life has at least as much impact, possibly much more, than the most used immunotherapy drug today. So what can you do to minimize the impact of stress and stress hormones and maximize your treatment response and your health? If you have access through insurance through some other mechanism to cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, that's a great start.